this thing's so high up off the ground and I'm a short little fella that I'm kind of like doing this whole stomach crunch thing to, to reach the bolts. But I figured this would be a great opportunity. I'm going to take a break and uh, I'm going to show you the underside of this thing um, and uh, let you kind of give me some comments on it because... Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Guys, thanks so much for joining us on our live stream last night. I really appreciate it. It's really nice having you guys join us. It just, it, it makes for better conversation. I actually enjoy it quite a bit. I know Bobby does as well. Bobby's not here right now. We, well, we've been going through our nuts and bolts to figure out exactly which bolts that we want to use today to mount up our spice rack on the galley and we don't have everything that we need. So Bobby is headed out to get a couple of more bolts and then we're going to start installing the spice rack on the galley. A couple of things I wanted to kind of show you guys real quick, a couple of changes and things that we've been testing is right here on Bubba's Garage, we manufacture some Molly kits. So we decided to test it out and see if we couldn't secure the Molly kits on the door of the V-Series. We ended up using like, heavy duty velcro you can buy on uh, amazon i'll leave a link down in the description if it's something you want to try out um the sticky stuff on this um you know i don't know if it's just right here in texas the heat uh is causing a problem or not but once we put these panels on and we sewn some velcro strips on the back of these panels um the velcro uh came off of the door and it could be that it's just not a smooth door i'm not sure we actually did the same thing right here as well the velcro ended up coming off and uh well so i just stuck it back up there um so i don't think it's a door issue i think it's a velcro i think the velcro would hold up if it had something really really light on it if we were using that maybe for our curtains and and we're going to test that out here too it didn't pan out so what i ended up doing because the velcro peeled off is i cut some uh 3m automotive adhesive um put it on the back of the top piece and it's been riding there for about two, three weeks. Uh, it's holding up pretty well. So stay tuned. I'll give you an update on that uh, before too long. The idea is this here is the driver's side. So the idea is on this side, you're going to be able to open this up. You're going to have all of your toiletries and things like that over here. We're going to have our shower mounted up here. And you just quick, easy access to everything that you need right there. That's kind of the idea. On the other side, it's more of a, that's the passenger side. So that's where you come in and you enter. Um, that's where we want to have things like, you know, uh, pockets and things like that for cell phones and stuff like that. So nonetheless, let me let me sh show you what's going on with the, uh, the spice rack. Spice rack actually turned out really good. Shelby had a lot of fun doing it. So she was able to be a little bit creative. So I uh, posted a bunch of pictures on Facebook as well as Instagram. If you haven't checked that out, definitely do so. But I, j I just want to give you a quick rundown on it because uh, there's a lot of detail in it. I thought it was really neat. This is really neat. So here we go. So this is our spice rack for the V series. Um, not sure exactly what we're going to put in it just yet, but this, you know, this is a little, bit, little bitty picture there for Bobby. And if you notice, it says griddle time. And she went a little high on the letters, but that's because we didn't, you know, we didn't plan for that. You know, and so there's my logo for, the, and then uh, that's me, Chris, right there. Time, and if you notice, Shelby is, is hanging up there on the E. And if you come down here, then she's got all the, the you know, the condiments and, and cooking stuff. You got the jalapeno, uh, looks like burgers and some eggs and maybe a pork chop or a steak, some pepper, some salt, mayo. I guess this is like mustard and this may be hot sauce and, and stuff like that. And then you got a little sandwich over here. I love the taco, I love the taco. And then you go down, this was really interesting because she created this little scenery going on here. But if you pay close attention, right there, right there, that is Project uh, Run, uh, that is Project TJ. That's our, our Jeep Junior project. Um, and then you go around and you know, you, you come back right up here. To, of course, you've seen the rest of it. So it's kind of, you know, it's kind of neat. Uh, it makes it a little bit different. Today, we're gonna bolt this up. We're gonna squish it in a little bit. We're gonna put about three to four bolts across this and smash this together and keep it nice and sealed. And not sure if we're just gonna, if we're gonna get to the bed uh, part of that today or not, but that's kind of the idea um, is to get this project moving along. We got it opened up right now so we can vent out a little bit. It was pretty warm in there. And I know I got to paint it black. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. We'll move on. 
Uh, but that's where we're at right here on Bubba's Garage today. We're gonna we're gonna knock this out and uh, hope for the best. Yeah, I don't know. Just come along, join us for the ride. This thing's so high up off the ground and I'm a short little fella that I'm kind of like doing this whole stomach crunch thing to, to reach the bolts. But I figured this would be a great opportunity. I'm gonna take a break and uh, I'm gonna show you the underside of this thing um, and uh, let you kind of give me some comments on it. Cause so we undercoated all of this. I got these two bolts here for the trough box or chuck box that's on the top, but we didn't undercoat this so uh during a rain or something like this this is going to get wet um but i ran out of that whole uh flex seal stuff and uh i didn't go get any more so that's what we have to live with oh yeah that was actually pretty easy it took bobby a whole two hours to go get the bolts that we needed to mount that it took probably about 30 minutes to mount it um yeah, wasn't actually that bad at all. We're actually hanging out. We got our little DeWalt fan over there in the back just testing it out and seeing how the heating and cooling is gonna be. Don't really have any intentions on using the air conditioner. Speaking of which, ah, real quick, just to give you an idea of how much room that we actually have, Bobby is, Hi. what, five foot seven, 150 pounds? Uh-huh. About five foot seven, 150 pounds. So you're gonna have that bed platform over there Bobby will he be here, I'll lay right here. That's well, that's all we need. Hey, I mean, it's really not that bad. I got my griddle set up now. I have the spice rack. We're almost ready to go. Put everything back into my chuck box. Yeah, we got a couple of test things that we need to do. We're gonna wrap up some stuff. We're gonna do some curtains on it really soon. Right, babe? Yep, yep, yep that's, yep. Yeah, so uh, probably, probably next weekend, we're gonna do uh, some curtains. Probably gonna use a Velcro uh, for that. We'll see how that pans out. I'll keep you guys posted on how this whole Molly kit goes with the automotive adhesive. You know, with the temperature changes, you know, overnight, a little bit cooler, and during the day, a little bit warmer. I'm curious to see if that's gonna stick on. If it does, then uh, we'll do the same thing to the other Molly panel on the passenger side as well. Uh, but this is what we have right now. That's it. That's about it. It's coming along really well. We need to get that bed platform in, actually, we probably need to work on the bed platform first tomorrow. First. Absolutely. Yeah. The bed platform was originally estimated about 30 inches. We're about a quarter inch shy of that. We're still gonna cut it at 30, 30 inches. inches. So definitely uh, stick around for that if that's something you guys wanna check out. Guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, give us a huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video and you wanna stick around and find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night.